Hello, my name is Bernd Hert. Together with my colleague Niels Bauer, we are working in NetApp's Competence Center at SAP headquarters in Waldorf. And today I'd like to show you SnapCenter 3.0 for SAP HANA and how to restore and recover an SAP HANA database. Please be aware, this is still a beta preview, so I add the legal notes here. Let's have a look at the lab setup and configuration. We do have our SnapCenter server installed on Windows host, and on the other hand, SAP HANA 2.0 on a Linux server. You see the system DB and the tenant, which is a typical single tenant multi-database container installation. We have the data, log, and shared volume. As first configuration step, we have to install the SAP HANA plugin together with the SAP HDB SQL client software on a so-called communication host. This could be any Windows or Linux server in your network. In our case, we had installed it on the SnapCenter server itself. We do have two storage systems, an SVM HANA for the local storage and an SVM backup for the offsite backup storage. And we have set up a snap vault relationship between the local data volume and a data snap vault volume on the offsite backup storage. Next step is to define the policies. We use two policies, an hourly policy and a daily policy. The daily policy includes the snap vault protection. And finally, we need to set up the HANA resource and define the protection together with the schedule of the hourly and daily backups. Now let's have a closer look at the recovery process of a multi-database container database. There is still a single data volume on the one database host that holds two tenants. If you restore that data volume, you also have to recover those two databases, SystemDB and the tenant database. For the recovery, you could use Sapana Studio or Sapana Cockpit. We will use Sapana Studio for the next steps. We will start the process with Sana Studio and the recovery of the system database. Starting them with it and going through the standard processes, we will end up with the backup catalog waiting for the restore of the volume. So we need to switch to SnapCenter, select the HANA database and check which of the backups we should use. So selecting the most current backup, we could use the volume restore. So that means we have to U mount the volume on the storage before we start with the restore. After U mounting, we can continue with the restore process. So we will start the wizard. We select complete restore, press next. There are no pre or U mount commands on the communication host. So we'll skip the pre-ops and we will skip the post-op jobs. We could set some notification and see the summary. And finally, we could start the resource process. Uh, in the activity area downstairs, we can look at the active uh, monitoring details. So let's drill down. We see we are already in the uh, file mount restore. So the restore application is now happening. That means at that point in time, the volume has already been restore, restored and SnapCenter is work, working at the final to finalize the workflow with all the post activities. That means we can go back to the server and mount the volume again. We can see after mounting what has changed. And if we drill down a bit, we see in some of the directories an additional file snapshot data backup, which indicates that this is a safe point that we have restored. That is important for the recovery process so we can refresh. HANA will analyze whether it finds those safe point files and it marks it with green so we can step through the process. We could add some of the logs to do a point in time recovery. We can unselect the Delta backups and finish the recovery process. 
after a while the system database has been recovered and we need to start to recover the tenant database as well. In the first screen we select the tenant, then we check how to recover the database to its most recent state, check the catalog location and then confirm the warning that the tenant must be shut down in order to be recovered. So we confirm that and now this time the catalog is already green because we have already restored the single data volume. So select that backup and press next to start the recovery of the tenant. Same process here with the visits and finish the recover process. That might take a while depending on the size of your tenant and we can check the administration in HANA Studio. We can check the system database, it's up and running and we can also see the tenant database where well, that's up and running. This will conclude our short demonstration on how to restore and recover a multi-database container single tenant database with SnapCenter 3.0 and the new SAP HANA plugin. Please stay tuned for new information to come as soon as SnapCenter will be released.